This is Module 5, Lesson 8 Homework, Side 2. Number 5. Draw a number bond with two parts showing the shaded and unshaded fractions of each figure. Decompose both parts of the number bond into unit fractions. So first, I need to draw a number bond to show what is shaded and unshaded. Then I need to decompose or break apart my number bond to show unit fractions. So let's start by creating a number bond. A number bond always starts as one whole. Then I'm going to break it apart into what is shaded and what is unshaded. In this picture, I see two parts are shaded and there are three equal parts. So I have two thirds shaded. Next, I'm going to create a fraction for what is unshaded. One portion is unshaded and there are three equal parts. So one third is unshaded. Next, it tells me to decompose my number bond into unit fractions. Unit fractions look like one third, where there is a one as the numerator. Since two thirds does not have a one as the numerator, I'm gonna decompose two thirds. There are two thirds, so I will need to draw two small lines coming down. To create two thirds, I need one third and one third. When I count, I have one third, two thirds, and three thirds, which is the same as my picture on the top. Letter B, let's start with our number bond to show what is shaded and unshaded. There are four equal parts shaded and five parts in all, giving me four fifths shaded. There are one part unshaded and five parts in all, so one fifth is unshaded. One fifth is already in unit form because one is the numerator. Four fifths needs to be decomposed into unit form and it's going to take four portions to create four fifths. This would be one fifth, just like we have right here, another one fifth, which is shaded below, another one-fifth, which is shaded below that, and a final one-fifth, which is shaded on the very bottom, giving me one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, and five-fifths, completing the entire picture. Try letter C by starting your number bond with the parts that are shaded and unshaded. Once you have found the parts that are shaded and unshaded, decompose the fractions into unit form where there is a one as the numerator. Number six, Johnny made a square peanut butter and jelly sandwich. He ate one third of it and left the rest on his plate. Draw a picture of Johnny's sandwich. Shade the part on the part he left on his plate and then draw a number bond that matches what you drew. What fraction of his sandwich did Johnny leave on his plate? Let's find the important information that the problem is asking us to solve. First, we know Johnny made a square. Then he ate one third of the square he made. We need to draw a picture of Johnny's sandwich. We need to shade 
what was left on his plate, not what he ate, but what he left. We need to draw a number bond, and we need to answer what fraction of the sandwich did Johnny leave on his plate. So let's start by doing our best to draw a square. The fraction that he ate is one third. So I need to divide my square into thirds. The only way to do this is straight lines. Now, when I look back, it tells me to shade what he left on his plate. He ate one third. So if he ate one third, this would be what he ate, one third. Johnny left on his plate the section in the middle and the section on the end. When I look at what is shaded, I see two parts are shaded and there are three parts in all, giving me two thirds was left on his plate. As a number bond, Johnny had one whole sandwich. He ate one third of that sandwich. He left on his plate what we shaded, which was two thirds. Looking back at my question, what fraction of his sandwich did Johnny leave on his plate? Johnny left two thirds of his sandwich on his plate.